Oh, welcome to the farm on a hot day. I don't know where spring went, but we're right into summer. Today's goal is clean out one of the goat barns. And uh, as we do that, we're probably going to use this little outlaw here. And we're going to use a different grapple this time. Last time I used a three-in-one bucket, worked great, but not quite as well as I wanted. So this time I'm going to try and put the grapple on it and give it a try and see how it does. So we'll get this little guy fired up and we'll see, see how we do here. See if she'll fire up right away. There we go. So this time, you know, I'm on it and I'm learning to drive with it. So one of the things I want to at least make sure that you know everybody can appreciate is this mini skid now has been used here for about three or four months and we're pretty used to it with the bucket. But none of us are used to it with this little grapple on it. And we're all getting used to driving it. Um, you know, a lot of times we've been driving it in what we call low gear. Today we're driving it in normal gear, so it feels a little fast and jerky for us. And for my farm hands, um, like Bryce here, you know, this is literally one of his first times doing a lot of backing up and, and moving with it versus, you know, shoveling. So, you know, when you see us in here trying to unload this building this way, um, you know, it looks a little crude, it looks a little herky-jerky. But you got to understand, we're getting used to the controls. We've got it set so that the machine can go faster. Because this little um, mini skid outlaw has got three speeds, Overdrive is, is really a production speed just to get you from point A to point B. But low is really a controllable, powerful setting. And then normal is kind of a compromise in between, right? You still got the power to lift things and do things, but you can get from point A to point B faster. And since we're running it out of this long, you know, 70 foot barn, we want to make sure that we can get in, get the stuff, get out, and get it to the skids. So the skid can go dump it. Uh, this machine is really working really nice. Uh, I did this last time, like I said, with the three-in-one bucket. I'd open up the bucket, ram it into the pile, shut the bucket, and when I got less of it, I just used the bucket itself. But the one thing this grapple really gives us is that ability to just take that big bite out of the hay. So this back alleyway has had, I think, oof, I'm going to say 20 to 22 inches of manure in it because it's been built up since November. And it's pretty dry stuff. It's not real wet and heavy, but it's still thick, it's still hard, it's still deep. And when you do this all by hand, you know, loading it into a skid steer bucket that you can only get so close to it, it's, it's, it's quite a bit of back-breaking work. But if you can pick it up, you know, two to three yards at a time with, with a mini skid like this, dump it into like, you know, a five, six yard bucket, and then, take the, the dumpster bucket and go dump it, you know, it's fantastic. Um, this barn in the spring, typically at 20 inches deep, would take us probably six hours with a five-person team to totally clean out, stall dry it, um, get all the equipment back in, get all prepped back out for goats. It would be one big day with four or five people. We knocked this thing out uh, before noon and we didn't start till almost nine o'clock. So basically, three hours we knocked out all the manure in this area uh, with a machine like this and just a couple pitchforks and people guiding us. Absolutely fantastic. I'd highly recommend a grapple when it comes to picking up compacted, you know, manure that's mixed with straw and hay. The three-in-one bucket, though, has definitely got an advantage when you're picking up, you know, like stall cleanings in a horse stall, which is more shaving base. Three-in-one bucket, you open up that bucket lid, take that flat wall of the bucket, push those shavings, and then shut it on it. The shavings are more fine. That bucket works great. The really fine stuff with a grapple falls through it. But again, when you're dealing with straw and hay, oh, I absolutely love the grapple. Ran this thing straight for about three hours, only burned through about half the tank. Um, I don't remember how many dumpster loads we took out, I lose track at this point. But I tell you, my kids and the farm hands 
They busted butt to get this done. We thought it was going to be an all-day barn again, just like it's been in the past. But this machine really sped us up. It was a true joy to be able to come in at 1 o'clock in the afternoon and see all the little dairy kids back in here. The Sonnens are in here. The Alpines are back in here. As you can see, they're so much happier to be in a nice, clean um, area. Just builds up over winter, that's all I can say, folks. And now it's all cleaned out. These goats are happy. They're running around. It's clean. It's beautiful. I highly recommend this little mini skid. It's awesome, especially with the grapple.